So hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll cover this amazing lab. So first of all, click on Start Lab and open the Cloud Console Incognito window. Now, if you are completely new to this channel, do not worry. Like the video and subscribe the channel, and let's get started. So just open the console incognito window. Now here basically we will be enabling one API because if we directly go to that basically the conversational agents page, you won't be able to enable the API. Sometimes it shows to create a billing account. But here don't worry if you are following this tutorial, it will be easy and detailed because many of you are facing and the short trick is already uploaded on the channel. So do not worry about it. And here we will cover step by step. So just come over here and from here you can see API services. Just click on the library section and from here you have to just type the API name, right? You have to just type the API name. What is the API name? The API name is present on the task number one. So come over here and just copy this API name. You can ignore the Google one. We have to remove it. So just remove this Google, click on it, hit enter. Once you are done with this, click on this. And after that, basically you have to click on enable. Now wait for some time and the API will be enabled soon. Now once it is enabled, it will look like this. So now come over here, right click and open this conversational page, agents page on the incognito window. Now don't worry, we'll cover each thing step by step. You'll be able to get 100 out of 100. If you are unable to see the projects, then you have to just click on it and just select it. Okay, like this, if you are unable to see the project directly. And if you are still unable to see the project, just refresh the browser window. Now wait for some time. And here you'll be able to see an option to create an agent. So just wait for it. Now from here, click on create agent, then click on build your own. Sorry, build on your own. Now just for the display name, paste over here. And location, this is important. In my case, the location is your central. In your case, it might be US West 1, East 1 or just EU or US. So you have to select as per the lab instruction. Now here, we have to just select the conversation start to flow. It is by default selected as playbook. So just come over here, click on flow and then just click on create. Now wait for some time, it will be created and then we have to just modify some settings and then we'll be exporting the task to basically exporting the file. Okay. We can call it restoring also, restoring the file. So just wait for some time. And finally here you can see this thing is done. So once it is done, click on these three dots. Go to the settings. And just scroll down a bit. Enable these two settings, cloud logging and conversation history and just save it. Once you are done with this, we have to just export one file. Okay, you can just refresh the browser also if you want. So just wait. Now here you can see we have just created and basically task number one is successfully done. Now we have to do task number two. For that in the description box, I've shared this repository. Just come over here, right click over here and just you have to download it. How you have to download it? I'm showing you, you have to just click on this download icon. Click on this icon and it will be downloaded to your local system. Just save it in any location of your local system because we'll be needing it. So make sure the file is accessible for you. So just save it carefully. Once you have saved it, come over here and then click on these three dots and just click on the restore agent. Now here just click on upload and here you can just select the file also or you can just drag drop if you are using Chrome. So let me show you how to drag drop. Just click on the download button and then just click on it, drag it to your, basically what you can see, drag it to here. And if you want to upload, you can just select the file. Now, once it is done, the agent is successfully uploaded. Now just check the score for this particular task. And then task number three is very easy, but little bit complicated. So just stay tuned and watch the video. Now here you can see we have to create versions and then environment. Just hover your mouse over here, click on versions. And from here you can see multiple options are here, playbooks, tools and flows. You have to just click on flows and then click on default start flow. Okay, just click on it. Now just click on create. And for the version name, what name you have to use? Just copy the name from here. Paste over here, same with the description. Now again you have to just paste the 
what we can say basically create a version 2 also so just copy the name from here paste over here like this and just save it now here you can see the status is showing not ready so you need to wait for it to get ready status then only create the environment otherwise you may get some error so just wait for some time till the status is updated and if you're completely new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel for other pre-assessment skill badges live courses all things are present on the description you can just check it out and just start doing it so just wait for some time and then we'll move forward to the next step of this lab So finally here you can see the status is now ready. Now just scroll over here, click on the environments and here we have to create two environment QA and dev. So for the display name you need to come over here, wait a second in the github repo and just open select this name QA ok and make sure it is in version 1. So here by default in the version section the last version is selected basically 2. You have to just select 1 and then you have to just save it. Now similarly you have to create one more environment that is dev come over here and just select it ok now just select it and then you have to just select the version 2 carefully select the versions and environments now you can see all these things are ready now just refresh the browser so that the settings are updated so you need to wait for it just wait for the settings to get updated and then after that we will test our action basically agent we will test our agent and then the lab will be completed and if you have any queries regarding the arcade program you can just comment down in the any video now here just click on it and now here from the github repo come over here copy this prompt paste over here and just click on send once you get the output click on this to reset the conversation from here just select another environment now again paste the same prompt and then run it and then you get the output just reset it and run the prompt again okay just do it like this and if you are unable to see qa dev etc just refresh the browser and try again now just check the score for all its tasks you'll get the score without any issue and if you're facing that score is not updated just wait for some time and try again okay now for this check my progress you can check the description box of this video that's all about this tutorial thank you guys have a great day ahead